Let's talk about auto agents. Auto agents is an innovative framework where you don't generate an agent, rather the AI generates the agents. All the agents that are required for completing a task are generated by agents and they kind of go through like a group chat process to actually successfully accomplish your task. In this video, we're going to learn about auto agents and we are also going to see why I could not replicate running auto agent on my local machine. That is going to be the later part of the video. If you want to stick around, it's fine. Or if you want to skip around, it's completely fine. But in the first section of the video, we're going to discuss why auto agent is actually super amazing and quite innovative. First of all, let's look at the paper. The paper is auto agents, a framework for automatic agent generation. They've also shared the code. The code is uh, very well documented, like you can see that it has got all the details that you want to run, but only when you run it, you would face certain issues, which could be part po possibly due to a latest PR. But anyways, that's for the latest part of the discussion. Let me quickly show you the architecture first. So if you see auto agents, auto agents have got like a very nice architecture. So you've got the user, the user asks a question, write a novel about awakening of artificial intelligence. Now this question actually goes to, or this query goes to a planner. Now the planner is the one who creates two things. The planner creates agents and the planner creates task. So if you see the user asks a question, the question goes to planner, the planner creates agents under plan and there is an observer. So the observer is there to observe the agents and the plan. So you want to make sure that if everything is happening to achieve that global goal, like the big picture. That is what the observer is there to do. So observer is there to observe the agent, the observer is to observe the plan, and the observer is to observe the action. So the planner is creating the agent, the plan, and the actions. Now, let's see what they're talking about it. Auto agents couple the relationship between tasks and roles by dynamically generating multiple required agents based on task content and planning solutions for the current task based on the generated expert agents. So you have a task or you have a query and based on that you have got these planners who generate agents, plans and actions and there is an observer who has like three observers, the agent observer, the plan observer and the action observer who monitors the situation and make sure that everything happens completely fine. If you see the comparison about why they even intended to make this kind of solution, you can see how the current agent based framework looks like. You have got auto GPT, baby AGI, generative agents, camel, GPT bargaining, meta GPT, auto gen, social simulacra, epidemic modeling, expert prompting, SSP, agent verse, auto gens. So one thing is this, this auto gen seems to be based on some part of meta GPT. You would see that in the code. But anyways, if you see all these frameworks, one thing that you would notice is that does it generate dynam agents dynamically? So only this part of the set of a frameworks let you generate agents dynamically. And the number of agents are limited and with auto agents, auto agents it is unlimited. Multi-agent conversation is possible, yes, it is possible. Self-refinement agent, an agent who can fix their own problems and then refine it, it is possible collaborative refinement action, which is like working towards a common goal and then getting it done, that is possible. So what they're trying to say is auto, -gen, auto agents is one of the frameworks, the innovative framework that actually create, generates and coordinates multiple specialized agents. In this case, you don't even have to define the agents. If you remember the chat dev video that we covered some time back, which I linked it in the YouTube description, there you had to manually specify who is part of your team. If you were to build an AI workforce, you need to specify these are the five team members that you want. But in this particular case, you let the main agent, the planner agent to decide even that. You don't have to manually specify who are the team members that you want. And that's exactly why they are saying that the age, the framework that adaptively generates and coordinates multiple specialized agents to construct an AI team according to different tasks. And you can see in details like what all the things that they're doing. You can see what is the stages like drafting stage and execution stage and who are the predefined agents, the planner agent, the agent observer and the plan observer. So you can see who, what are they doing it and then you can see what the action observer is doing it. But at the core of it, if you see the primary core of it, the, the core is basically you've got the planner, 
and you have got the observers and you have got the tasks like the actions so the planner defines the agents the plan and the actions the observer makes sure that everything is going according to what we wanted to do and they've got some impressive demos to be honest you can see the first demo uh, there is a rumor verification they are going to go ahead and then ask if that um, the lk9 i guess uh, that material lk99 material is it like real so it uses serp api the search engine um, api and then it goes online it reads about it and you have got like multiple different agents who come in and then check whether it is good like there is a physicist who would come in there is a science expert who would come in you can see like there is a group chat happening between a multiple agents and you know that's the idea so it's basically like a group chat group chat between ai agents and the other example that they've got is like creating like a snake game but all you are telling us like create a snake game so they know themselves that okay if i were to create a snake game and uh, you can see that there is a manager here and uh, they would invite another person at every point of this demo you could see like new person getting added first the question is there then the manager is there then the agent observer is there programming expert language expert plan observer so all these agents just get added to the group chat just to make sure that we are ultimately creating that snake game that we wanted or that the user wanted to do currently the only api it supports in terms of external um, attachment or external integration is the serp api which is for search engine but everything else is based on open ai api but also they've got some other integ integration with um, azure um, anthropic now this is all well and good like i absolutely like this and um, i think like this is one of the best way to have a truly autonomous ai system still see uh, like the the way an llm would define this agents is still the quality of llm depends on a lot of these things and uh, but ultimately if you see it's it's like you just give like a single command and uh, it's not a single solution working on all these things it's that single solution creating multiple agents with multiple plans and then multiple actions and then you have got this observers monitoring all these things and then finally looking at the execution and then deciding what to do and then refining i think it's it's truly brilliant like it's uh, it's like one of those moments that you look at a solution and then it absolutely works completely fine now to the final part why i could not run the code to be really honest like i i would have spent like several hours like 4 to 5 hours at least trying to work make this code work in a lot of different ways so they have a lot of different ways to be honest one is you can run the code in command line you can run the code in a web socket service mode you can run the code as part of a docker image in fact they have got like a hugging face spaces link where you can go add your open ai link and add your serp api link and then you can run it unfortunately i could not get it run in all these different ways one primarily i think there was a recently a new pr that got merged couple of days back some of that pr did not let me run this thing um it could be possibly one of this reason first i do not know the second reason is uh, the code is quite clumsy to be honest like even if, even though if you see the framework really good the code has little improvement options uh, that i would like to say so the reason why i'm sharing this on this video is if you were to take like a fork this and then modify this and use it you probably know where to change it because it has got mit license so you can take this and use it so if you see the code one first of all uh, when you go to the code base when you go to the configuration they let you know that you should add your open ai api key in the configuration you can go to config.yaml and duplicate this config.yaml as key.yaml and then you can just add your open ai api key and uh, you can add your serp api key in fact in fact if you are using solutions like ulama it can create your own uh, internal api api local host uh, using the local model and you can use that proxy in, in, instead of open ai link so you can ultimately like if this code completely works fine which i am definitely going to try after a week or so ultimately you can run this entire solution based on your local language model uh, local large language model rather than using open ai that opportunity is available with the way this code base is designed so you can replace you don't need this at all then in that particular case you would have this proxy the proxy that you are using right now here instead of this you would have that link from ulamar whatever solution that you are going to use so that is well and good and um, the default model is gpt4 but you can change it to gpt3.5 and uh, that and like you see like you have got other options 
The concern that I have is, for example, now when you add OpenAI API key here, then the problem is if you were to use the front end that they are giving, like, um, or if you were to use the command line that you are that they have given you, even that is going to look for the API key in that particular place. So one, you already had it open API key. But the second thing is now when you are calling this in command line mode, still it is going to expect the open API key and serve API key. And there is no easy way to get around this. That's, that's, that's a primary concern. And let's say, okay, you don't want to do command line. You want to do WebSocket service mode. If you were to do WebSocket service mode, which is going to run like a WebSocket for you, which you, which for which you need like a server for you to use it, even then you would actually come across this, um, even then you would see that there is this front end app inside that you could see that there is a WebSocket JS, which is right away going to look for the API key in the front end app. So irrespective of whether you give in the configuration or not, it is going to ask you for the same open AI API key and the SERP API key. I tried a lot to, you know, like do the workaround to come, come around this. After I managed to work around this, then uh, I hit the other error that I said, which is probably due to the PR, which I have anyways, like added to the GitHub issue. So they might fix it. So overall, this is definitely a great solution. And from the demo, it seems like the solution would have definitely worked a couple of days back uh, when, you know, this, the merge happened, like it happened two days back to, so before probably like a week, it would have definitely worked. And unfortunately I decided to try it now. I could have definitely gone to the other branch and tried it, but I think in the other branch, GPT 3.5 turbo wouldn't have worked. But anyways, uh, at the end of this video, I wanted to leave you with a very positive note that I have huge respect for the authors who managed to put together this amazing solution. So the authors, you can contact the authors and then share your uh, opinion with them. But ultimately, I think this is a great solution where you're using AI to generate the agents. You're not asking a human to generate the agents. You're asking AI to automatically generate the agents and also have these agents. Like one of the agents would be like observer agent who would make sure that everything works fine. Absolutely impressive solution, impressive way of implementation. And the fact that, you know, someday you could replace OpenAI link with your local LLM proxy is quite amazing to be honest. Definitely looking forward to try it out run again after two, three weeks, but at least like meanwhile, if any of you want to try it out, let me know in the comment section, how did you feel about it? See you in another video. Happy prompting.